Dimensionals is based on Saturday morning cartoons from the 80s and 90s, you know the ones, and is set to release November 19th. Before we get into checking out this demo, I want to give a very sincere apology to the whole team behind the game, because I agreed to do a demo video for this, I think almost two weeks ago at this point, but so much real life stuff, the least of which me being, you know, sick, uh, got in the way and has bumped everything back. I'm like a month and a half behind on everything I'd scheduled to do, but everything's gotten out of whack, and I'm very late to making this video, so I hope you guys can forgive me. I'm so sorry, but we're here now, checking out the demo for Dimensionals. You can go and check it out for yourself. Head over to Steam, jump on, give it a whirl. Right, we have a prologue. We have the Master Raid and the campaign, which I don't think the campaign is available now. I think that that comes much later in the, in the full release, but we could do Master I'm going to do the prologue with three heroes to get an idea as to what we are doing. That was awesome. Oh, oh, fully animated intro. Uh, are these the dimensionals? Stand back, kid. We've got this. My boy! Gramps? Welcome to the mothership, my boy. Paul of the Dimensions. Dude, pardon my French, but holy shit, <laughs> that was really well done. It really does kind of give the vibe of like a TV series. I want to see this actually made into a series. <laughs> I would watch this. I'm getting like almost like Ben 10 vibes as well as like, you know, like old He-Man and, and, and uh, She-Ra kind of vibes, like the 80s vibes mixed with like Ninja Turtles and other things from the 80s, 90s kind of era but also spliced with a little bit of that, that 2000s flair, like some, some Ben 10 kind of... Dude, this is really nice. I like the aesthetic. All right, team. Mag Mama is on the screen. I just want to know how many of you are thinking it. I know some of you are thinking it. Shame on you. But you're probably right. Drag and drop skills to activate them. Dragging a damage skill on an enemy will reduce their life. Dragging a block skill on one of your heroes will help mitigate damage. Cool. Each skill your heroes can use has an associated mana cost. Plan your turns out and spend your mana wisely to strike a balance between dealing damage and staying healthy with block. Once you're finished with your turn, pressing the end turn button will advance the battle and allow enemies to take their turn. Cool beans. So what have we got over here? Defend. 10 defense to a hero. So every hero has their own amount of resources. Deal damage to enemy cool. Oh, so they've all got their own passives too at the start of each battle. All heroes will heal one life, plus three to max mana. Crosshairs, Cold gets more critical hit chance. I like that. What have you got? Guardian of Legacy. At the start of each turn, gain shield. Okay, so you're the blocky boy, you're the damage boy, and you're the utility boy. Cool, we like it. Um, add defense to a hero. Let's put defense on our main boy over here. But wait, we share we share resources. So I only had my one mana down here in the bottom right. So let's, I don't know, end turn, I guess. I should have attacked. Aha! I get blocked, idiot! 
Ah, so that shield does go away though. It doesn't stay there. Now I've got two out of two. Okay, we're ramping. Deal damage to an enemy one time and apply. Weakness. Deal less damage, remove each turn. Okay, so let's hurt this guy. And now I should be able to fire off this too, right? Nice. Cool, cool. He wastes his turn effectively. Right, this has a cooldown on it. So I can't do that one again just now, but I've got three mana points, so we could armor up and smack. Nice, nice. I get it, dude. It's cute. I get it. So a lot of this is also going to come down to team composition, right? So choosing who you want to put on a team and like who's going to synergize well with each other in terms of their, their loadout. I like that. Deal damage equal to the block to target enemy. That's kind of nice. Wait, so you gain 10 and then do damage after that? If I put that on, on Gramps, that would do a lot of damage. Consume all mana to deal 10 damage to the target enemy times... Uh, what is it? X is equal to... Okay, so the more mana you do, the more. So you can do like 30, 40 damage. That's kind of nice. Right, um, give me shield slam. Dragon drop skills to move them around between your heroes and the inventory. Equipping the right skills to the right hero to create powerful combos is uh, monumental towards your success in the rift. I imagine so. If you need a little extra gold, you can drag skills over to the shopkeeper to sell them. Thank you. I like how into everything is just drag and drop. This is very intuitive. I like it. Healing potions aren't just for combat. You can drag and drop healing potions from your bag or inventory directly onto heroes inside the party screen to use them outside of battle. Thank you. So we don't heal back after each fight. I, I understand. So if I wanted to put shield slam over here, so they can have three skills each. And I've got other new ones down here. So I could put an extra defend on you. Cool. Deal damage to the enemy. And can be used again in the same turn. Ah, actually, let's give that to, to Boop because Boop needs... A little more. This spectre is called a screamer. Relatively harmless, but it gives its allies a barrier, making them harder to dispatch. Kill the screamers first, as you should. You can combine skills of the same rank to level them up. I wasn't sure if you could do that, but Gramps has two of the armored ones, so I could upgrade that and make it into a better skill, right? Does the cost go up, though? Because if the cost goes up, maybe I want to keep the uh, lower level ones individualized for the meantime. So hypothetically, we've got two of these one costs that give 10 armor if I do this. Oh, it stays one co Okay, so instead of going to 10 and 10, it becomes one lot of 15. You know what? Do it. Why not? It'll save me an extra slot for when I get another skill. I could have saved this and waited um, and had two individual ones, because that way you could split them and choose to put like 10 on one, 10 on the other, and you can use uh, more, more spread for your armor. But I guess I'm doing it now just to see, but in the future, I probably keep them individual until I get a third one, and then I would upgrade. So we get a telegraph on who's going to be attacked by certain enemies. That's good to know. So if I hover over the screamer, it shows he's going to buff his friends. If I hover over each of the dudes on the side, they're all looking to attack my boy in the middle. But it's also got uh, icons here to show me that. I like it, dude. I like it. So we're going to get five damage each. How about no? Start with a block. End turn. Try me. Loser. Try me. Uh, no damage coming into me. And so now, are they both doing it at no? They're splitting. Look, damage coming into either side. That's not good. Not good. Not bueno. So we want to. So I could do 10 damage easy. 5 to damage, 2 times, 20% critical hit chance. Let's try and kill this screamer if we can then. Block. End turn. My boy! He hitting my bloop! Uh, we could kill you now, right? We do that, and then I could do... This costs nothing, right? Ah. Ah. Ah, I see. And now we shield. And now we could... Apply a weakness effect to the enemy. Okay, Shield Slam is very strong. I should have been using this immediately, but I wanted to kind of see how the, the new upgraded defend was going to work out. But yeah, that is actually insanely strong. So we know we can just do some attacks. Now. We've got four. We've only got three that we need to worry about. This is easy, so we'll just... 
smash a bunch, and then guard, and then... Oh, we can do it again. I forgot we can keep spamming this every... as much as we want. Die. And now we block damage from this guy. I like it, dude! It's slick. So we'll throw some of this out. Right there. Do some of that. And then I could do up to 40 more damage. Doesn't matter. Uh-huh. Die. Simple. Ooh, revenge. When this hero is dealt unblockable damage, apply corruption to the attacker. Increases uh, damage taken by one for each point. Stackable, I like it. Blast wave. The first equip this hero casts each turn also deals an additional five damage to all enemies. That's kind of nice. A little baked in AoE. I like it, I like it. Embolden adds five rage to the target hero, which makes him do more damage. I kind of want to mess with Blast Wave a little bit, just to see, because it says the first one used also deals damage to all enemies. I could stick that on um, on Koa, is it? Yeah, we could put that on Koa, but that's a, that's a passive, so that takes up a slot, right? But I don't use it. Ah, so you'll have limited, you have to choose between passive effects and direct, like, attacks and buffs. I see, I see, I see. The shop, the skill shop can be restocked to view a new selection of skills. The restock cost goes up on each click, but don't worry, it will be reset back to the starting cost each time you enter the shop after completing a battle. So, very, very good. I like, oh, this looks nice. Why is it so shiny? Is this like legendary, dude? Gain 50 bucks after each battle? That's just, that's just nice. So after one battle, you get, like, you recoup the cost? Dude. So wait, because it's a relic, we gain activated just being in, I don't have to equip this to a dude, it's just in the, yes, I want it. I want, yes, give me. Give me. Defense stance. Add 30 shield to all hero. That seems sick. That's really nice, actually, but it's a three cost. I get it. Gear up. At the end of the turn, apply five shield to a random hero three times. What? That seems busted. What? I want that. I want, I want, wait, do a restock? It restocks all three? Dude, that's insane. All allies gain a dodge. Rare. Cool. When any hero deals damage, there's a chance to add shield to a random hero. Wait, when any hero deals damage, does that include the blast wave effect? If I do AoE, do I have a chance just to start applying like passive shielding to everyone? The first damage skill each turn from this hero has a 100% crit hit rate. So I could, wait, I could put that on Koa as well. Wait, I'm buying these both. I want that and I want that. We're out of here. Spectre Flambe and Spectre Hunt. Am I choosing who I'm fighting here? Combustible materials inside. Don't let slip past your go. I, I'll take, I'll take the snake, please, I guess. Yeah! Dude, that animation is insane. Dude, <laughs> why are they going off so much? They start healing by biting. Oh, I chose the, well, actually, the other one looked like it was going to explode on death. So I guess this might be the least annoying of the two. All right, so first damaging skill uh, each turn has 100% crit chance, which is a bit of a waste because his whale already has a small crit chance baked into it. So it's not really benefiting greatly from that now. But if I had a new attack, I could put that on him instead. But... When any hero deals damage, chance to get a shield. I like that. And then at the end of the turn, apply shield to random allies. Put that there. This stays in inventory. Let's battle. Let's duke it out. So I should be critting a lot here. Whoa, okay. So he's going to try and attack my old gramps. Status effects like rage, corruption, and poison can be applied to both enemies and heroes. Mouse over their icons to see the effects of each and to adjust your strategy. Thank you. Heroes and enemies both have passive skills. Mouse over their icons to see the effects. Ah, pay close attention to enemy passives. They'll often give you hints. So what's yours? When this guy deals un wait, unblockable damage, I'm going to shield myself and do big damage to you because this is free, right? So hypothetically, I do this. And then I do this. Bro, that's a lot of damage. And now you're not going to do anything. Because I'm beefy. Look at the shield. Oh, what can you do, bro? What? He's going to shield himself. Hey, 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 hey. Don't be shielding your... You know what? We smash. We do We do damage. Right, so we can weaken him too. So let's do this. Chunky. And then we weaken him. So now his next attack will do less damage, which is great. And now we end turn. 
He buffs himself. That's all he can do. The free shield is so nice. Right. What's your plan of attack now? Attacking my boy, but... Oh, the weakened only lasts for that turn. Right, right, right. I thought it would just last until he attacked. That's fine. So I need to shield my boy. He's now got 15 shield. He's protected. He's fine. This is great. So we've got... I mean, I have extra shield if I needed to, but we don't need to. Smash. Smash, dude. Smash. Um, we're fine. Just do this. Get some. End turn. This is working out so nicely. What can you do, bro? You're not even getting a chance to heal at all. You are screwed. Screwed, I say. Now he's going to try and heal. You're screwed because if I do this, and then I do this, big damage. And I do this. Huge, dude. Ten life left. You're done. Beep, beep. Smash him. Wait a minute. I might kind of be all right at this. I might not be too bad, you know? I might kind of be pulling it off. Another shield slam? You wouldn't dare. Nah, I want the shield slam, though. I want Gramps to just smash a dude. What happens if, if shield slam upgrades? We gain 20 shield. So I'm not even losing anything. It really is just going to give me double the effect. Yeah, dude. Do that. Yes! Next! I'm fine with this outcome. I forgot all about upgrading Shield Slam. I just assumed I wouldn't be able to for some reason. Potion Granny. Potion Granny. She looks lovely. I want to go to the Potion Granny. Here we go. Inflatable Shield to add extra armor to a target hero. I want that one, please. I have no money left, but I would like that one. Thank you very much. I have no more cash. Thank you, Potion Granny. I'm going for the big slam, dude. I'm going to try and one-shot someone. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Incoming! Massive bad guy! Huge problems! It's a slicer. It's an elite fight. It's a slicer. Look at this goob. I'm about to hit you with the hotness, dude. Okay, he's made the mistake of targeting Gramps with five lots of... Th wait... Wait, three lots of five damage. You think 15 damage is going to be enough to destroy me, dude? You have no idea. I have the inflatable shield. I want to see how much damage I can bust out all on my own some. So if I do this, I'm beefy, but I can keep doing this. Can I do it again? Can I do it again? Oh, yeah, baby. And now we gain 20 more for 105 damage. Smash! Smash! Why didn't I... Wait, I can also deal damage straight to my target? <laughs> Bumpy, I, I should not have wasted all of that, but it's funny, dude! He didn't get a turn! Screw that guy! Hell yeah! Those guys didn't stand a chance! Great work, my boy! We'll make a dimensional out of you yet. <laughs> we make a pretty awesome team too, huh, Boop? <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, so, Gramps, what are these Spectre things anyway? Whoa! What was that? Gramps, what's going on? I don't think we're out of the woods yet, Koa. Uh, Gramps, what the hell is that? Ragnarath. Brace yourselves! Jesus Christ! Get behind me! Get down! Stay back, Koa! This is no ordinary spectre! Kick it, Koa! Kick it, ass! Gramps! No! My cataclysm has begun. Spectre armies assaulted Punch him in the dick! And my generals will annihilate your scattered dimensionals. I so shall send you free. back to your abyss. The dimensionals will not succumb to your tyranny. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Beat him up! Never! My legacy is not over yet. Get him off of us! The Rift thank you, Ragnarok! <laughs> Damn, dude, I won.
want to see a series focused around Gramps. <laughs> what was that? What did he do? I didn't know he had transformations. Inferno. Look at that design. That is amazing. Thunder Gust because birds. Yeah. Terra Fae. Wow. That's, that's actually really cool. I like that. It's got like thorns in the hair. I like it. I like it. Aquanaut. I almost said Aquanut. <laughs> Pyropause. Because Fire Cat. Fungi. <laughs> That's not good for my throat. Fungi. <laughs> I'm dying. Yay! We did the demo thing. Wish list, feedback form, all the good things. All right, I've come into the master raid mode, which is kind of like the rogue section of it. And my God, look at all of these playable characters. I didn't realize that you guys had this many. I thought it would be like 12 or so. This is way more than just 12, dude. There's a lot of characters here. And luckily, you do get unlockable uh, advice on how to get them, so... Uh, defeat the Master Ray with both Shork and Aquanaut in your party without either of them dying. Very, very cool. Uh, defeat the Master Raid one time. So we do have Shork um, available right from the start. Look at... Oh my god, look at him. He's so happy. He's just such a happy little lad. And we can get a breakdown of all of his potential moves, all of them, which... Oh my, there's, there's so much here, I can't possibly... Oh, it's so shiny. So each character gets a legendary. I see, I see. And you can kind of get an idea of their playstyle. Okay, dudes, I'm going to cut this one short right here. All right, I wanted this to be an introduction to the game. I promised, like I said in the beginning, I said I was going to do this ages ago, and I feel so bad about it. Please go and try this out. Go play the demo for this. Blown away by the visuals alone, like the, the actual production of the visuals and the quality that's gone into this is phenomenal, but the gameplay keeps up with it. Sometimes games have a hard time balancing aesthetic and artistic direction with actual gameplay. The gameplay is fun. The gameplay is smooth. It's simple. It's easy to understand. Now, I am going to come back in and do some Master Raid stuff. So uh, this bigger, more roguelike uh, mode in the middle here, I'm going to come back and do that. But I don't want the video to go over, you know, too big. I want to get like an introduction with this video and then come in and do um, another one after. I might unlock a character or two in between there just so we can see it like what the other characters do. But we'll see how that goes in the next one. Um, maybe I'll get my ass kicked and have no choice. But with all of that said and done, I got to get out of here. I hope you guys have enjoyed some Dimensionals. Let me know what you think down below. And I will see you all again next time. Have a good one.